hello everyone how's it going this is paul from floater ferry i'm so excited to bring to you a new floater project about food delivery app so that's what we are going to be talking about it's going to be a series and i'm very excited for this so this video is to bring you on board on this so we can talk about the features we're going to talk about some things that we need to know about this app so we can work with that so let's see the design to know what we are going to work with so this is the design put in place is an 80 dollar design so you can just see how good and clean it is and we are going to achieve all of this using flutter i think every episode we should be able to cover at least a single page or some components in that page so we can get to um, know this uh, how to build this um, into a product um, very well so this video is um, for everyone for beginner it's for intermediate and it's also for seniors if you um, find any problem or any solution in this video so you, you're welcome uh, and let's see some features we are going to be talking about so these are the features we are going to talk about um, first is the registration and login so we are going to be able to um, register a user by collecting some information about that user like the email or we can use um, their google accounts and sign them in with their google account that's where the google authentication comes in and also whenever the user returns to the app we can log in that user just gets those credentials and allow them in without just going back to registration and the next thing we are going to talk about here as the features is going to be the search and also filter foods so we are going to try to achieve this um probably using firebase because we are going to we might use firebase on this but if you have any other um services that you think we can also use um you can um, bring them down on the comment section so we can go through it and we see what we can achieve with that and as i was saying about the search and filter food we can try to achieve this with um um firebase though firebase doesn't allow a lot of filter um to be applied um but we can see what we can do on this uh, on that maybe we can do that locally and if this doesn't suit our needs we can try a third party solution um just um, maybe we can use agolia service to um, work on this and the next year is the add food to cart so we are going to implement that feature and uh, do every uh, e-commerce app apps have that so we are going to implement that there are still features and also another one is here is the add food to favorite list so every users is going to have their favorite list um they are going to come back to so we are going to have that as a feature as well and we are going to place order and that's the main points of the video uh, of this app for users to be able able to place a, a food order and as well schedule it as well so on this we might use cloud tax google cloud tax to achieve the scheduling part and trigger when whenever and we want to and the next is the payment gateway uh, the payment is um the one of the, the good parts of this because uh, you want to monetize your your application you want users to pay for the, some of the services beforehand so the payment part is um it's more important here so we can use some solutions like the flutter wave we can use um paystack we can use um paypal um yeah we are going to investigate and research on all of this and bring this to this app and the next year is the other history so the other history yeah um it's going to be the history of your previous order which we are we can get if this we address it very well on our database we are going to achieve this and also here is the rate and review so we are going to rate um different uh some food we order and also review them as well for um other users to see and the next here is the edit profile um, you can see on the design um, here that um, users can actually edit their profile you can see so we are going to try to achieve all of this uh, using flutter and and firebase 
okay so the next is going to be the rewards so uh, we are going to rewards our user i think we have done something about reward we can bring that to a reward application like this so um, it's going to be fun and we have this real-time order tracking and also we have done something of this as well the the city car we did so i don't know if you guys um, actually followed that um, but we did something about on on real time so you can check out that video as well to know about more about real time but we are going to talk about it here from scratch as well and we have the push notifications we can use um cloud uh, messaging um firebase cloud messaging uh for this and also the next here you can see i have put together customer and admin panel so the customer is the user app and the admin panel is the admin side um app so we can choose to do that i uh, don't know if you guys need this as well if you need that you can specify on the comment section you can bring that up and we can work on that as well and talking about some episodes we'll be bring coming up with um just the first year which is the overview and project creation which i'm going to do that right now and the next is going to be folder structure we are going to talk about some folder structure how we are going to structure our project because this is going to be a big project you don't just have to um, put everything in a single file and or in a single folder and start working on that it's going to get uh, messy when when it grows uh, big so uh, and next we are going to talk about theming so the theming um, as you can see our app it contains a lot of theming there like different colors different and um, text and um, font style being used so we are going to achieve that out on on the theming part and here you can see that we have built ui so we are going to build the on board the art um ui the home the favorite the profile and such those are all the tabs if you can see here um if you can see here these are just the tabs so we are going to build this and also build the screen the screens um in all of those as well and this we have here the navigation navigation is very important in this app because um there we already here we have nested navigations so it's going to be this and we can and stay here and go to, uh, on this favorite page and go to food detail we can go here and we still see that we are in this tab so it's going to be kind of complex but we are going to make that simple and everybody is going to learn from it and the next here is the managing of states so we are going to use provider and block um, and block now and also use some dummy data to test this out before we can use firebase or any other services so the next is going to connect to firebase email and on google authentication and more to come so we are going to there, there's going to be a lot of episodes coming but we just need to start something and i'm very happy that i've started here with the overview uh, so um let's create a project so i have my android studio here and i'm going to click on this new flutter project and clicking on this you can actually use different methods to create a flutter project you can create a flutter project from your terminal just going to your terminal and specifying the location maybe if the folder name is called code you can just type cd to code and click on enter and 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 type in flutter creates the name of the project which is folder so you can do this and when you click on enter you get your project created and also if you're actually using um if you're actually using vs code you can go to your vs code here and go to view command palettes here and flutter new project you can actually type in here so a flutter new project and all of this you need to have flutter install on your uh, machine so and also those plugins related to the um, code editor you're using so i have i have everything set up here um i have everything set up here and i'm creating a project here with android studio um let's do that again create new project and i i'm selecting flutter here and clicking next and here i'm going to call it folder and 
I'm going to copy all of this description about this project and in here and here we are going to call this com floater ferry so this is a company name uh, you can specify that on your end and the android language you'll be using is the kotlin ios language is the swift and the platforms are going to be android ios and web so i'm going to check all of that um, and you can see you can specify your root directory here uh, you can specify it here you can do all of that and click on finish so you can click that and it's it's going to unload that project but i've actually created a project already just using this step um, and it's been open on on um on the vs code here um you can see the name here fuda and if you go to popspec.tml you can actually see the description here so what we are going to do now is we are going to um clean up this project and that will be on the next video which will be talking about the folder structure um uh, thank you uh if you're not a subscriber to the channel click on the subscribe button and so we get this going